today's video I'll be doing a breakdown of my custom built 2021 transition spur frame. Let's check it out. So a little bit of backstory before we do the breakdown. I wasn't intending to get a mountain bike. I'm a cyclocross rider so that's kind of my route is more easy endurance fire road climbs. Just by chance I tried contacting transition they told me it'd be probably 2022 until I could get a frame. But randomly, unexpectedly, we got this transition spur frame at my shop and I just snagged it um, and bought it right then and there. Real good impulse buy on my end. So now that I had the frame, the next issue was actually getting parts to build up the bike. Luckily, by chance, I had spent a little bit more money than I wanted to, but my shop had everything we needed in stock. So I was able to go through, get the fork, get some custom wheels built up that I did myself, as well as even the, uh, the drivetrain, the last SRAM components that we had in stock was actually the copper cassette and chain which matches the transition decals perfectly. So I was very happy with the outcome of this build even though it was pretty time limited and I really didn't have that much stuff to choose from. Either way it worked out. So now that we got that cleared up let me go through the bike and I'll show you what I went with. Beginning with the cockpit I ended up going with 35 millimeter whiskey carbon bars matched up with a 35 millimeter industry nine stem. This is a 30 millimeter length stem, so real short, giving me the kind of feel that I'm looking for. The brakes are gonna be code RSCs. Now these are uh, more enduro brakes by SRAM. I've been a Shimano fanboy most of my life, and I actually feel that the code RSCs are the closest feel when switching between Shimano and SRAM. You just have that pretty instant engagement. So I went with the RSCs, front and rear. If we look at the actual shifting that's on the bars, I went with Axis. This is using the new GX Axis. Personally, I'm feeling no difference between standard Axis and the GX. It's pretty much just a weight difference between those levels. So I've gotten probably three or four rides out of this right now with the GX and I felt no difference. That's gonna finish up the cockpit area moving towards the front wheel. I went with a RockShox SID fork, so that's gonna be kind of the complementary fork I would be using with the SID shock that's on the rear. The only issue with this is once again, it was the only fork we had. So it currently uses a remote lockout damper, which I don't want to be using. So I'm gonna be having to switch out the damper in the future to switch from a remote to just like a kind of a manual lever. So that's going to be the fork. It's a 35 millimeter, 120 millimeters of travel. So I have 120 front and rear. Looking at the front wheel, this is the custom build that I did. This is going to be a 28 hole Santa Cruz Reserve carbon wheel laced to a Industry 9 Hydra hub. This is going to be using just black 2.0 nip, uh, spokes with 2.0 nipples. I have a couple of gold timing ones right by the gold valve stem just to match the decals and the coloring of the frame. This is, and again, it's just going to be using a 180 rotor with the code RSC caliper. And then the tire is going to be a Minion DHR2. This is just what I was recommended. So far, the feel of it has been perfect. I'm just still kind of experimenting, but so far, I've really been enjoying the feel. So that's going to sum up the front end. Let's move towards the back of the bike, and I'll show you, show you what's over there. All right, so looking at the middle area of the bike, what we have is a 31.6 axis reverb dropper post so that's controlled by the dropper lever on the handlebars and this is going to be using a 153 millimeter s uh, specialized power saddle that's what i'm used to and i really enjoy the feel of specialized saddles so that is my choice for this build the shock is going to be the rock shock sid ultimate that's going to be their lightweight shock and that one is currently 120 millimeters of travel so that complements the front fork Looking at the bottom bracket, I'm using a SRAM XX1 carbon crank as well as a 32 tooth Eagle chain ring with Shimano XT pedals. So I've been a fan of SPDs when it comes to mountain bikes and then I'm more of a Crank Brothers kind of guy when it comes to road and gravel. So that's my personal choice for the pedals and the crank as well as just the copper chain and that's going to be the mid area of the bike. We'll finish off with the rear and then we'll get going. So finishing up with the back end of the bike, we have the 28 hole carbon reserve wheel. Uh, I ended up lacing these in a three cross pattern. That's gonna be the, kind of the ideal lacing pattern you want for most mountain bikes. So that's what I ended up going with for this. The tire is gonna be a Maxxis Recon. Both of these are gonna be 29 by 2.4. This one has 
more knobs compared to the front, but they're smaller. So that's gonna be the ideal rear tire for traction. And looking at the hub, it's gonna be the Industry 9 Hydra Hub. If anyone isn't aware, Hydra Hubs offer pretty much a limitless engagement. Um, but depending on your preference, they are very loud. So some people might like them, some people don't. I'm personally a fan of the louder hubs. Tied to that is gonna be an XD driver with an 11 52 tooth Eagle copper cassette. So that's gonna be giving me a great range of motion with the 32 tooth chain ring in the front. And then lastly, we have the copper chain wrapping through the GX axis derailleur, which again, so far out of the rides I've had, no noticeable difference between the higher end models. It's pretty much just a weight difference. So that is going to kind of sum up the back end of the bike. So let's wrap it up. All right, so that's gonna be it. That is my transition spur build. Given the circumstances of the current bike industry, I am really happy that I was able to build this up. So without further ado, I'm gonna get on out of here and go for a ride. So I will see you guys in the next video. Later.